Yeah. Strawberry banana smoothie or dead kids? That's the one oh. I was supposed to pick, but I got the I got bubblegum. Oh, did you did you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can't spit it out. Here, here, you want your water? <laughs> Oh, I am. I'm trying. I, I am. I'm trying. I'm trying to record it. No, 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 let it dissolve. You're you recording this? Yeah, I'm getting it. You have to chew it. Go ahead, toothpaste. No, buddy. There's a toothpaste favorite here. What else is that one? Here, you have to chew it. This one is toothpaste or berry blue. All right, let's go. My turn. Record him. Oh! What is this? What is that? Two extra. You get one of the worst. Look, that's just so dis disgusting. This tastes like ass. Yeah. Hey man, it's like enthusiastic. Man. I know, I know. I'm just gonna do it. Do you know? Do you even know what we're watching today? Heck yeah. Of course he does. We're watching Venom Part Two, trailer two. Yep. Two. Let there be carnage. Yeah, I'm just like very, very tired. <laughs> You're good, bro. Venom Part Two, directed by Andy Circus. Okay, so how did Andy Circus prepare for Venom Two? There was nothing that could prepare me for Venom Two. I, I have good faith in Andy Circus. I actually do, yeah. Because I've seen him, I've seen his direction before. I've seen what he can do. And Especially how uh, Carnage is like, like how he is in the comics too. And, oh yeah. Especially like that. And especially how Andy Serkis knows a thing or two about split personality. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. Uh, this is, right. Remember, this is like, not like featuring Spider-Man 3 where the original director never knew anything about Venom, but he put him in there. No, he just didn't care. He just didn't care. No, but uh, but no, you can't, but we'll never fault the legendary Sam Raimi though. Hell no, never. Le that was Sam Raimi, Sam, Sam, Raimi. Sam Raimi, you got some, we, you, we will always have respect for you, bro. Indeed. We, we can't will. wait to see Doctor Strange too. Yeah, and I'm hoping uh, it's Tobey Maguire might make a cameo because honestly, I feel like uh, Marvel might be messing with us. Especially what we've seen with Loki. I have, I have such a such a bad feeling here. Yeah. All right, but uh, but enough of that. Let's get into Venom Part Two. Let's and uh, we're still waiting for Morbius, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, we get another trailer for Morbius soon. All but right. I can't wait to see this movie next month. All right, three. Ready, boys. Two, two one. Let's go. Go. This world is carnage. He's right there. Oh, he's oh he's got the coloring, the correct coloring. Ready. We should be out there snacking on bad guys. <laughs> I am a predator. I need to be free. You have got to get control of your aggression, or you will get walled off into Area 51. Oh. Shriek! Oh, oh shit! I didn't know Shriek was gonna be here. Oh. And she's oh, played by D. Take over me, please. Let me fix it. So I can play it again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I love some young pussy. Stuff. Nah, I hate it. I would hate to have that thing in I me. I to give you my story. People love I know his story. Ah, oh, they changed his hair. Why me? It's mine. It's yours. And it's yours. It's mine. Let's go. Oh shit. Oh! I have tasted I like blood before. That's how it happened. Is not it. That's like kind of electric type shit. Oh, the symbiote. That's how the symbiote got. It reproduced on him. Oh, I ever wanted in this world. Wow, that transition was crazy. Oh, there he's back there. Let's go. His tentacles. Wait, there's about to be a bloodbath. Does he have his electricity? Ah. Oh, gosh. He's consuming him on Yeah, 
this is your daddy. <laughs> uh, uh, you can just say I'm happy for you. That was great. That ain't happening. I'm happy for you. Nope. No. Oh! Sorry. Just two with some serious couples now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I actually thought he was gonna get her. Because uh, at the end, probably will. Because remember, we're standing so don't, give don't up you on her. give up on her. Either any of, of you. Yeah, yeah uh, hopefully, we get a cameo from the, from the comic book creator who created Venom, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah, really, yep, the, the one who created Spawn. He made some great statues. Todd McFarlane. There we go, Todd McFarlane. Mc... I want to see him make a cameo. Yep. Yes. So How, um, that means that Todd McFarlane make a cameo if he were, if he was. Maybe. Just maybe. Just a little tidbit. You know, a little cream. Get on with it! That we might get a spot reboot. I would hope so, man. That was a uh, good word. It's like back on track. I also see Shriek is here. Yeah. Holy shit! I did not see that coming. Apparently, she made a small cameo in the first trailer, but we didn't. None of us noticed. Yeah, I still gotta rewatch Venom, which I still love because you know it felt like '90s to me, bro. Like, yeah. Come on. How could you like be born or like been from the early 2000s or the '90s and not love this movie? Honestly, maybe the problem isn't Venom. Maybe the problem is you guys. Yeah, especially the critics. Well, we won't speak but, about the critics. But like, at least, well, we watched the Venom movie. We know it has problems, so we understand why people wouldn't like it. Mm. And uh, we under also understand the comic book uh, readers who understand that Venom was never funny. It had doesn't have a single laughing, laughing moment in the comic. Sometimes it's nice to have like little like, like honestly, I love me some pure blooded action, anything not over the top, but there always has to be those those little one liners that get you, you know. Like th that's what I see it. Like people kind of like say, oh, it doesn't go with the comic. He's not. He's not funny. He's not funny. None. None of the symbiotes are funny at all. Not even Wolverines, and that one looks ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, and in honesty, it's great to have one liners or punch lines or there. There is such thing as a perfect rendition of a movie or like a game or whatnot. But as I said, it's no such thing as perfection. Having it always be like plain old serious, it's like watching a disaster movie and seeing I am Beowulf. It's kind of nice seeing like, little, like with Jack Black, it's nice seeing like little funny moments, so that's what I'm trying to get at. The freaking Shriek, yo. Uh, that's how they're gonna beat Carnage, bro. Um, oh, she's gonna be on Venom's side? No, uh, she's actually gonna be on Carnage's side. Because uh, in the comics, she used to work for, she used to work for Carnage. Oh, she's gonna possibly she, change sides? Oh, yeah. Hopefully, because uh, Shriek is not uh, that bad of a person. Yeah. Because she has a heart, but freaking uh, Carnage has no heart. Oh no, he's no. complete and utter psycho. Which is a freaking mixture of Hannibal Lecter and freaking Joker mixed mixed together. So imagine if the Joker was a cannibal. Freaking, uh, but uh, but not that not that he was a, not that he was a cannibal in the in the comics, but uh, he was a straight up psycho. And his main motivation, he wants to kill people. That's all he wants. He freaking gets off on that shit. He can't uh, get enough of killing people. You know, he wouldn't even give a shit about Spider-Man. He cared so less about Spider-Man that he freaking shocked him. Like, and but every time Spider-Man would get in his way, he would uh, take that personally, and he would uh, charge to at him, make sure he try, he actively tried to kill him, and damn near succeeded many times. Would it be somewhat of a disappointing not seeing Spider-Man team up with Venom here? Honestly, I would love to see Spider-Man. I want him to be in here, but like. That's just, officially at this point, it's just wishful thinking to see Spider-Man. For me, I would love to see Spider-Man, but for me, it's like, this is Venom movie, Venom's movie. Essentially, yes, it is I, in the same universe as Spider-Man. Possibly. But like, possibly. 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 possibly, 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 possibly the one, Spider-Man is able to cross multiverse, so you know. But the one thing I want to see, if uh, this is uh, any connection to any uh, Spider-Man, it would probably have to be Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. Yeah, I could actually yeah. I would actually, I would would actually, I would, to... yeah, but there would, would be the one I would say. Perfect, right there. Yeah. It's like another, like, kind of, like, 
off the topic, but a lot of people say Andrew Garfield was a bit good Peter Parker. I think he played Peter Parker perfectly. Nah, he was, he was a little too cocky uh, A bit there. too cocky for Peter Parker's but, character. But, 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 great but, as but, Spider-Man. But, but Peter, Peter was in originally was very cocky. He is cocky in the original comic books. Uh, and, that is yeah, true. But, uh, yeah, but uh, if you don't uh, remember, in the, but the thing is, in the original comic books, he was uh, more dorky. From the from back in the days, so it wasn't until after he got the spider powers he got he became cocky. Yeah, that's why I see he's like it's a good rendition because you have like him being his cocky self, where you have Tobey Maguire being the best one in my opinion. Though and the moment he turned cocky is the moment he got finally got laid a lot. Damn, so, like all all, all those chicks. So let's like, kind of hope like maybe we might get into like more of multiverse. Or maybe we might get some ghost whoa. spider. Here's to who? I mean, when who, who, who knows? Whoa, who's to say that by the end, if we were to stay for the after credits scene for Venom two, it'll be like just with the first Venom, where they give us a teaser for Spider Verse. Here we might get a teaser for No Way Home. Honestly, I don't know if that's only wishful thinking here. Though. Yeah, I guess it's also as a, as a point, but like you know, strict strictly, if this is to be connected to anybody. It would be Andrew Garfield, even though I didn't like the movies, either of them. But I'll give Andrew Garfield his credit that he deserves. He does deserve that credit. Basically, any actor who worked their asses off for this movie. If anything, it would be cool. If Andrew Garfield is going to be somewhat in the MCU somewhere in the future. Emma Stone's pregnant. Uh, last I heard, she was having a baby. So, the door is open to show something that has never been shown before. Why about you Spider-Man getting a daughter or something? Or having a child in general, but uh, the door is open here. So, uh, final conclusions, yeah. This is actually uh, underwhelming, but okay trailer. It was pretty good. Was better than the first one. All we want. It was better than the first one. All we wanted was to see more of Carnage, mm -hmm. and I can see that he's more color from. He's he's like a hundred percent color from the comics. Yeah, I actually. Mm -hmm. From my thought and point of view, I actually thought, like you said, underwhelming, but I actually think it's a good type of underwhelming, which is leading to something bigger that's gonna happen. Yeah, this um, is good. Whatever you do, do not reveal it in the next trailer. Yeah, please, please do please not save it for the film. Yeah, but I thought I think this might be our last trailer we get for the movie. Honestly. I would hope, honestly, I would hope so. Yeah, we don't have to look at any other trailer for anything because I'm, the movie's rigid around the corner. I'm already gonna go watch it in theater. I'm gonna watch it. I but let's uh, not push back and uh, we need uh, tra another trailer for Morbius people, let's go. Yeah, yeah come more, on. We need more Morbius, we need more, hopefully more Blade too. so. Oh, that's a good one right that there. That would be great if that would, it, is Blade persuaded to come on two years from now? I don't know. No, it's, it's unconfirmed at this point. It's but, unconfirmed. But, uh, yep, maybe right. a teaser by Christmas, that would be a wonderful Christmas. All I'm going to say is like, damn Wesley Snipes. <laughs> damn, I really miss him. I know. Bringing Wesley Snipes to cameo on Doctor Strange 2. Oh, it's multiverse oh, after Not to mention the whole IRS thing, too. Oh, oh come on. on, everybody. Like, forget uh, about the whole tax evasion. Forget, forget, the, whole, forget yeah. the whole tax evasion. Thanks a lot, no, no. You're always the first one who forget, brought it up forget yourself. Whole, forget the whole tax evasion. Tax tax evasion. Okay. We don't, don't care. We 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 Hmm. Fuck that shit. That no, she commits tax fraud, so it's good. Right, let's just uh, keep that out. Of, let's just keep that out of the conversation yeah. here. That is, that's like a, a weird turn there. Anyways, <laughs> I didn't give a fuck about any of that. Anyway, so Woody Harrelson, I can't give you enough praise, bro. You get so much praise from me. All right, Woody Harrelson, I'm excited to see what you're gonna do. And we're so you don't get killed off. Right, right. It's one thing, but Carnage needs to stay. Honestly, I think, I think. Uh, I don't know, they gotta separate the, the symbiote somehow. But okay. I think that he's gonna get it back eventually. It always happens. Regardless, it we still happens. need Cletus Cassidy and Carnage to still be around, even if they're not together by the end of the movie. I would hope to see it someday, but uh, I guess uh, that's all we gotta say. All I'm gonna say is nice seeing Eddie Brock back on the big screen. So. There we go. Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and sure you click that bell to be notified for our next videos. Alright. Right. We see you guys when we go review Venom 2. Alright. Alright. Yeah. 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 yeah.